Well, the day you've been waiting for is here. The day I've been dreading is here at the same time. I gotta go outside, start grinding on that fiberglass body. And uh, Ed Roth used to just grind it wearing just a dust mask. I'm not brave. Not like that, not that kind of brave. But uh, this is what we gotta do. Let's get out there and make it happen. Something I noticed here, gang, I forgot all about it, underneath this tape, I got 
like a 3 8 or a 5 16 hole. It's like a 5 16 hole. That's when uh, I got a piece of strap steel, if you guys remember the previous episode, that holds my hinges for the bubble top. I got a piece of strap steel that goes across that fiberglass end, and that's how I held it in place. I used some C-clamps to uh, hold it up, and I drilled a hole and bolted it. And uh, I had the tape here because when the body was upside down, I poured resin from that side. So now I still have a little bit of a cavity, and when I get the body right side up, I'll open it up a little bit, and I'll pour some resin in there. And same trick is up top. And now it should take care of that and fill that in. And I've got these i got to take care of, some uh, fuzzies and stuff. But when that side gets dry and set up, I'll flip the body for the other side. I'll take care of the uh, passenger side, driver side, the steering and everything's in the middle. Who knows? But um, yeah, just little things like this going to take some time. And, uh, and we'll get back outside and, you know, do the joyful task of grinding fiberglass. Oh, yeah. Shaped out nice, a lot of stuff I haven't done the nose yet. I'm still working on this side. But the inside cockpit area is really kicking my butt. But what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna pop that camera off and I'll, I'll show you what we got going on right now. So I got a lot of this kind of shaped out nice on this side. 
and uh, we'll walk around. I still got a lot more to do in this top back deck area. I haven't even touched the surround really yet. That won't be so bad. And I'm still shaping this all out on this side. It's hard to get the camera far enough away for you to see it all. But there you go. So I'm still like when I got a little bit of mud left, I scoop it on in here and we'll get that. What I've been concentrating on is this interior cockpit. Because I gotta climb in and out of the car and inside here, that very front area, let's be honest, it's a pain in the ass. So that's all hand sanding. There's no cheese grater, no power tools. This is all gotta get block sanded. I'm trying to catch the edge here, also all the way around. And I still gotta do the console. But yeah, that's coming in pretty good. I'm almost done with it. I should have it all squared away over the weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. Well, it's Thursday. Tomorrow starts the weekend, I guess. And there you go. That's the bulk of it right there. Woo, so there you go. And uh, I know it's like videos have become uh, a lot more sparse in between each other about this project, and I haven't touched the Indian Larry chopper because all my time and money has got to go into this. And uh, now it's starting to cost a lot of money. We're chrome plating, buying body filler and paint and body supplies. I have no sponsors on this car at all. Just some of you Patreon guys, and I love you guys very much. I know some of you have uh, decided to leave the camp at $3 a month, and that's up to you, but um, you know, I know for uh, some of the uh, YouTube channels I, I follow, three bucks a month, a cup of coffee, I can do without it. To help support those guys. But we're getting there. We're almost there. I hope by the next video you'll see me uh, doing the finish sanding on this and getting ready for primer, blocking the primer out and moving on into the paint job and replicating the Ed Roth paint job that he, him and uh, Dirty Doug did back in 1959-1960. So that's what I got. And you Patreon guys, like I say, I love you guys very much. If it wasn't for you guys, I couldn't afford the body filler. I'm even buying the cheap stuff at 30, 32 bucks a gallon to try and uh, get through this. Um, you can pick something up off my, uh, my website, spritzbyfritz.com, grab a t-shirt, a coffee cup, a license plate top, or some, even two or three dollar stickers. It's a big help. You, don't, you have no idea how much of a big help it is. I appreciate it. But <clears throat> I think she looks good. She's coming into shape. She's getting there. And uh, I might not make, uh, I know I'm not going to make the show season this year. It starts in uh, like November of uh, 2023. But hey, maybe next year, you know. But that's where we are. That's what we've got. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting me. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time around.